Hello everybody, this is Rose of Winter Bros. In this video presentation, we're going to show you how to change the color and size of the icons in the GIMP. Have you ever installed it and you just go, ah, that is awful small and gray. How am I going to work with this? Well, we're going to show you how to fix that. Here we got the GIMP 2.10 running, and look at that. Those little icons are tiny, they're gray. Can't really tell what's what. It's like some of them you can kind of make out. And I know there's a professional look they were going for probably. But for us, we're going to just show you how to fix that. So really, basically, you're going to go up here. You're going to go to Edit, to Preferences. And we're going to hopefully uh, get a uh, relay a few pieces of experience here. So this interface line here on the left in this panel, that's where we're going. And click it. And uh, so basically, it's the interface with you, how the GUI, I guess you want to call it, or the interface between you and the application uh, for working on your uh, layered uh, images. So really what we're looking here is you can change the theme too. There's also different things for the theme. Uh, this would be the overall theme of uh, of uh, the GIMP. So it's on dark by default here. So we'll just go ahead and go to light. And we'll click it really quick. And you see that it changes all this theme to light. And you go to system. And it'll change it to something that's... Uh, similar to what your system is. Uh, we don't particularly, we kind of like the dark. It's We kind of got used to it. It just seems to, things pop out a little bit better, the white words and stuff. It's just these icons seem to be a problem. So for the icons, you're going to click on icon theme. And of course, we have the same thing over here, some choices. Up here you have the actual theme, and down here there's a color bar, I mean a size bar, excuse me. So our first thing is we like the, uh, they're either the color or legacy, so we'll show you the difference between the two. Here's color, so we click it, you'll see how they come up in color. And if you use legacy, you can get the what we kind of like because we're so used to it. We've been with GIMP for a long time, we like it, so we like the legacy icon. So we'll keep it there. You can choose either one of those if you want color. Uh, if you're new to GIMP, you might want to just use color instead of legacy, but that's up to you. And then, of course, down here to change the size of those, they're still quite small. Uh, we don't want it to guess the size, so we'll just click this little button here, and we'll say custom icon size, and then we can choose medium, large, oops, come on, I guess I didn't click it good, there it is, or you can choose huge, and <laughs> you can see they're getting quite big, we don't really need them quite so large, so we're going to go back, right about there, we like medium, medium seems to work for us uh, visually, uh, you could you, go whatever fits your fancy, and then just click the OK bar. And then if you close the GIMP, and when you reopen it, it'll come excuse me, to come back <coughs> the way that you left it. You see our icons are here with the size and the color that we chose. So now we're ready to get productive with our version of GIMP. We hope you enjoyed our visual presentation. Think about uh, visiting our website or maybe our store at Renderosity. Have a great day.